Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, we are finally going to be installing the wiring harness kit that comes with my hitch. And we're going to be installing that because if we are going to be towing, we need power to the trailer so that when you turn on the lights or brake, the trailer lights will come on. It's a necessity that we have to do that. So in today's episode, that's what I'm doing. We are going to be installing the wiring harness kit onto my wife's uh, Toyota Sienna. And I'll show you how this looks like. This is a 2018 Toyota Sienna. So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be taking off uh, the lights, uh, the power, uh, the lights here, and we're gonna be tacking power onto the lights here to power our hitch um, or our trailer uh, whichever trailer will be will be towing so this is the kit the wiring harness kit it's made by Takansha. i don't know if that's the correct uh, spelling the kit number is 118648 it's for 2015 uh, current toyota okay and this is for the sienna exclude se models so mine's not the xe model mine is the xle so let's hope that works so these are the wiring that comes with it there's a uh, small size zip ties along with some um uh, a, a fuse and i guess these are this is for power and then a long long wire here it looks like it's the 12 gauge I don't know so uh, then here's the surprise it comes with all these little plug-ins hopefully they will plug right onto my vans uh, uh, light systems so all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be removing this these two bolts right here so what we're going to do is we are going to be removing the tail light here out. Okay, so if you look at here, it doesn't want to come off. However, if you ever so gently put your finger in here and pry it out this way, then it'll slip out. There you go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is, I don't know if you can see, there are two connectors that's connected to the light and i'm gonna see if i can show you so for right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take remove these right here what you do is there's this little tab right here you press and then pull out and same thing goes on the other side here press and pull out okay guys so i got this side off too so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out this little plate right here so what i'm gonna do next here is if you can see to remove this whole plate right here it doesn't take a rocket science to figure it out all right take your handy dandy uh tool right here move this up and then you expose that tiny little bolt right there and so forth on this side right there and here there and this little screw here is a uh, the head is a 10 millimeter screw so. and out this comes okay so in order to remove this you're gonna have to pry this out first okay with the, your dandy little handy dandy little tool here it's out Okay, because if you don't do this, this plate right here won't come off. Okay, this has to come out like this. And the reason why it's kind of hard is because you see these little these little clips right here. It, it, it clips on very nicely. And so, see this one already broke. I didn't want to mean to break that. But it'll be held on with, uh, on, it'll be held on with this right here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be removing this panel right here. And this comes out, set this aside where it won't go missing. So then we're gonna have to remove this whole plastic panel right here. 
and just don't force it, but just slowly, nicely peel it off like that. Now that we have this separated like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be installing this little connector uh, box right here. Uh, the instruction says that it's a T1 connector box, but I call it the brain, okay? So this one right here, it, the instruction calls for us to put the double-sided tape onto here and then stick it in here. But what I found on my truck, on my, on my van, is that there is a little screw bolt here that's already um, uh, threaded and it fits a uh, 10 millimeter bolt all right guys so this is what i did i made the hole here a little bit bigger so this screw will go right in okay so now i'm gonna put it into this hole right here and i'm gonna screw it in this is how it goes in guys let me tighten it with my uh, wrench. So here we have these connectors here. These are for the tail lights. And the direction calls for us to use these two connectors. Okay. The green line, the green connector with the red and brown connectors. So they all go connect into here. Okay. And then later these connectors here will go will connect into here so 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 it's almost idiot proof so what i do here okay is i'm gonna move these two lines out here back here okay i know it sounds like it's daunting especially if you're working like this alone but it's really not it's pretty common sense and it's almost idiot proof so what you're looking for is you are comparing connectors and then connecting them as they fit so here they don't fit here they fit so here this thing fits here oops here so whatever doesn't fit goes back out here see this these two goes back out here And they stay out here because we will be using these to connect to the light you'll see here this connects to here and then this connects to here so they're almost idiot proof so it looks down daunting as you read the direction but it's really not so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the zip tie tie this here I'm gonna let it go and let it slip here so you can use the zip ties that comes with this kit or you can use your own zip tie I opt to use my own zip tie because that's just how I am okay place together okay guys so this is what I did you see that yellow wire right there it travels down here I zip tied it right here zip tied it right here zip tied it right here travels through the panel here okay travels through here and this is the yellow wire so basically what I'm doing is I'm matching plugs against plugs and what I'm doing here is I am if I can do this with one hand clicking this in like that okay so that's that so as you can see I have this and I have that so this is gonna go in this way all right guys so this part I'll let you know they didn't tell me to ground this wire until very very late so basically this um, this is how I'm gonna ground it I'm gonna put this wire between this and this well, I'm gonna put it underneath here, okay? I'm gonna put it underneath here, and I'm gonna put this back where I mounted this. And that's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay guys, so here I am trying to install this onto the hitch. Well, it turns out that this will not install onto the hitch. It's a little bit too short. 
so here, this is the kit number, okay, 118648 uh, for Toyota CNS, okay? So this is what I did, okay? So <clears throat> I wired it down here, the, the four point wiring system here, and there's no place to mount. The place to mount is right here, but there's no place to mount it there. So I'm thinking I'll probably have to go buy another mounting kit to mount a uh, another version of this onto here. So how I get this thing down here is pretty complicated, but it's doable. So if you look underneath here by the tailpipe, thinking that this is probably meant to be just stowed inside here and when in use it just needs to come out like this and hanging around like this and that's it I think that's what this kit is meant for it's not meant for uh, it's not meant to complement the hitch all right guys so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna test the lights to see if they work uh, except for the power line that they want me to install from the battery down to here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to test to see if the lights work. Okay, So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go in the cabin. I'm going to turn on the light to see if there's any light power to the light. So that works so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to, into the front and we are going to be installing this power kit here okay guys so this part right here this part is what is needed and it is meant to be installed onto the battery I'm gonna split this in half Okay. You see this right here? It's a fuse holder. It's 15 amps. It goes into here. This part, I'm going to make this part uh, go to hook up to the battery. This little thing right here is going to be hooked up onto the battery. Place that in. Okay, so now they become one. So we're gonna go and install this up there. We're not gonna place this fuse in here yet because we don't get a we don't want to get a short. Okay, so let's go. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna open this up. You see this nut right here? We're gonna loosen it. And once we loosen it, we're going to put this thing on. Okay, so that thing goes in like that. So what I like to do is I want to move this down, cup it like this, and then uh, you see this here? I haven't put the fuse here, so that means that uh, there's no power to the end here. Okay guys, so this is what I'm doing. I uh, decided to take this shot with a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, electric tape, uh, so that it'd be flush and uh, hopefully no moisture can get in there. However, this is how I'm routing my lines. This is why I wrote it through. You can see that little bellow or whatever that is, that seal. I, uh, I used a little, um, Flat screwdriver like this, this actual one, punch a hole in there, and then I use a little steel wire to guide 
that wire through and this is how it looks like and it came out really nicely came out through here and it goes all the way there and this is that wire so here I'm pulling it out so my plan is um, let's see my plan is to uh, snake this around all of these mechanism here so that uh, it's out of the way and then I'm gonna make it go down here through here and all the way to the back of the van that's what I'm okay guys <clears throat> so this is what I'm gonna be doing basically you see this little thing right here this thing right here goes on onto this side that's just right beside it you can't miss it all you need to go do is put your finger there twist it out and pull it out and that's how you do that so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the flooring here and, and to the uh, the kick side right here as well and that's what I'm doing all you need is something flat and pull yank it or not yank it but lever it like this and you just need to do it carefully you don't want to overly abuse it because something might give and uh, you want to do it nicely so that you can use this for many years to come because it's plastic so there that's how you do it so this side um, just yank it up like that but do it nicely gingerly so here what I'm doing here is I'm going to be hiding this line here and it's going to go down that way to that gamut what I did as you can see there the wire came here and I zip tied it there I zip tied it here so that it'll be away from this contraption here the the brake pedal and I zip tied it along here to, to here then I'm gonna zip tie it like this so it's out of the way of the emergency brake and then it's I'm gonna zip tie it along here 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 and I'm gonna go through here, through that side. Let me see if I could take this side off for you to see. So here, just like that, you uh, pry it off. It's gonna come through here, here. It's gonna go all the way inside here onto the back. Okay guys, so I got it to this far, okay? I got it to this point and I ran out of wires. So the wire that provided me was a little bit too short. So I'll show you how I did this. Basically, I stuck it underneath here. I stuck the wire here underneath here. Along the side here, you can see that some are sticking out, which is okay. And it goes underneath the car where the carpet and the, the side here meets. I just stuff it in, hide it. Okay, and there's a reason why I made this uh, steel guide like this, okay? This is just wrapped around here with uh, uh, electrical tape to hold it in place so I could use this as a guide. And I'll show you why it's important. So you need that guide because you're going to need it to guide. This is the wire right here. This wire. You're going to need it to guide to go through here. You have to go and then come out here so if you have that guide you could push it from this side through this side like a needle like a sewing needle and then here it comes this is that wire right here it goes through here and you can see a little bit of an exposed wire right here but when i'm done i'm gonna push everything in so here i uh, zip tied it here to guide it here and zip tie it here you'll see underneath here it's free and clear from the parking brake. So uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna pretty everything up here, cut the zip ties. I'm gonna lay the, the flooring here back in. And then I'm going to basically extend this wire a little bit more so that we can get to this black wire right here. Okay guys, so this is what I did. Basically, I connected the wire, but sorry, I, I put it in already, but you get the jizz. I wired up the wire, extended the wire, and this is how I...
put it in uh, just put it in like this and like I said earlier that's how I tacked it in not tacked it in I'm sorry I'm so used to welding so I call it tacked it in but I I uh, bolted in screwed it in like that onto the uh, for, uh, but the body here and so that's how it looks like and so yeah this is it guys and so let me see let me show you what I did so I hide I hid the wires here it looks like you don't see anything it looks like normal there it looks normal but here this is how it looks like right here runs along here here zip tied it here and runs the gamut here it went into that little boot and that's it guys uh let me know what your thoughts are i had a lot of fun doing this and uh can't wait to go and tow something <laughs>